Monkeys are troublemakers. There's no denying that. And while they often get away with it, sometimes they make a big mistake. Because sometimes they cause trouble for someone or something that can cause bigger trouble back. These are times monkeys messed with the wrong opponent. Number 20. Cat versus Monkey. Cats are a lot stronger than they look. They are natural hunters with sharp teeth, even sharper claws, and incredible senses of sight and hearing. So when you see a cat getting into a fight with a monkey, you can have a lot of confidence that they will come out triumphant. Of course, it's not guaranteed, but that certainly seemed to be the case in this situation. A man was getting frustrated with an African vervet monkey that just wouldn't leave. It was raiding his house and was probably causing a lot of mess. When he shooed it out of his house, it came face to face with his Persian cat and the two had probably never encountered each other before. The monkey was naturally curious, but the cat was just mad. The cat went for the monkey with its claws out and the monkey wasn't quite ready to admit defeat. It came back for more until the cat hissed, growled, and went into full angry cat mode. <laughs> The monkey probably knew at that point that it was not going to win and left the man's property. Like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the odd topic. This photo here shows a battle between a snake and a monkey in action. This all began when the monkey attacked the snake, presumably because he was trying to help the mouse that the snake is caught in a stranglehold. The snake lashed back and proved to be a fierce competitor. While the monkey was more brutal and violent, the snake proved to be faster and he came out the victor. As always, comment down below with the hashtag odd topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 19. Playful Young Monkey Bully Monkeys are quite playful, and that's not always well received by animals that aren't playful. They might be tolerant of mischievous monkeys, but eventually they'll just want it to leave them alone. A video was uploaded in 2020 which showed a property with a variety of animals like chickens and roosters. They were happily able to graze grain all day to their heart's content, but they were rudely interrupted by a monkey. In some countries, it's not out of the ordinary to have monkeys roaming in the streets, but this one looked like it might have just been a playful pet. It was wearing pants and looked right at home, living amongst the chickens and roosters. But it quickly becomes obvious that the fowl just want to live their own lives. The monkey tries to pick a fight with the chicken before the rooster comes in to rescue her. Not wanting to miss out on all the action, a puppy gives the monkey what it's been asking for all along, something to play with. So they do a bit of rough and tumble before the monkey grows bored and decides to head back to its chicken friends. The monkey is clearly a social butterfly and wants to surround itself with as many friends as possible. Number 18. Dog versus Monkey Fight in some countries, dogs and monkeys roam free. Locals often feed the dogs who live on the streets, but the monkeys are a different kettle of fish altogether. They raid people's homes, cause damage, and steal. They're cute, but they're mischievous and not really liked by a lot of people just trying to go about their daily lives. So as you can imagine, when both animals live free, they don't always get along. Dogs and monkeys can sometimes come together, each trying to protect their territory or just cause a bit of chaos. Three dogs, which looked to be street dogs, came across a monkey and nearly killed it. They each had a limb and were trying to pull it while its monkey friends looked on, making all sorts of noises to try and stop it from happening. Fortunately for the monkey, someone stepped in with a stick to scare off the dogs, and the monkey was able to get to safety. The group of monkeys then sat high up on a fence while the dogs barked and growled, knowing the monkeys had a disadvantage. They'll be waiting for their next opportunity to get those pesky monkeys, I'm sure. Number 17. Snake vs. Monkey Fight it's actually quite hard to know if a monkey really is messing with the wrong opponent when it tries to take on a snake. Both are actually quite competent fighters, especially when it comes to agility. Snakes can move with lightning speed, but monkeys can quickly flee from dangerous situations. 
but let's compare each animal as if it were going head to head, and you can form your own opinion about who would win. Monkeys are social creatures, so they live in groups and work together to look after each other. That can definitely count in the monkey's favor, since he'll have backup if going into a fight against a snake. In contrast, snakes like to be left alone. They are solitary animals most of the time, which means that they can't rely on backup if they end up in a spot of bother. Snakes would almost always have the size advantage when it comes to length, with some species growing up to about 20 feet long. The largest monkey is the mandrill, which only stands at about 22 inches tall. The smallest is the pygmy marmoset, which wouldn't really stand a chance against a snake at just around 6 inches tall. Monkeys defend themselves by using vocalizations and physical combat, whereas snakes often hiss and, of course, bite, often with venom. I'm on the fence about who could take this battle out, but I'm leaning more towards the snake if it manages to land a venomous bite. Number 16. Yellow-throated Martins vs. Rhesus Macaque Nature can be awful sometimes. When you see an animal as cute as the yellow-throated marten, you definitely expect it to be a lover, not a fighter. But this vicious pair managed to take down a rhesus macaque with ease. Primates always look like they're at the top of the food chain, but they're really not. They're quite often preyed upon by animals much larger than themselves and sometimes smaller animals in groups. One tour group at the Corbett National Park in India witnessed how cruel nature can be firsthand. A pair of yellow-throated martens, which are mustelids from the weasel family, stalked and killed an absolutely terrified macaque. These primates are often considered to be strong and sometimes aggressive, but probably not so much when they're outnumbered, as this one was. The attack took around half an hour, and in that time, they managed to wear the macaque down and eventually kill it. As cute and cuddly as these mustelids look, they are vicious killers. In 2014, a three-year-old giant panda that had been taken into captivity in the Sichuan province of China suffered fatal injuries from a group of yellow-throated martens. They are ruthless, and I believe they need to be taken down a notch or two. Number 15. Ostrich Beats Up Monkey Ostriches are the largest birds in the world. They can grow up to 9 feet or 2.7 meters tall and weigh as much as 320 pounds or 145 kilograms. They have long legs, long necks, round bodies, and a sassy attitude that makes you think better at trying to mess with them. When they feel threatened, cornered, or as if their offspring is under threat, they would rather turn aggressive than run, and that can be bad news for anyone who tries to stand up to them, humans included. Their eggs can be quite desirable in the wild and in captivity. They contain only a small amount of sodium and have plenty of fiber, omega-3, calcium, zinc, and manganese. They also have the same amount of yolk as around 25 chicken eggs. We eat them, so you can imagine that they are popular with animals in the wild as well. Monkeys are some of the many animals that try their luck. With nests of eggs out in the open, you just have to distract the ostrich long enough to take an egg. One monkey thought it had gotten away with being sneaky, but was chased after by the mama ostrich. She was not happy and quickly caught up to the monkey who had dropped the egg by then. Fortunately, the monkey managed to get away. Just. Number 14. Monkey versus Sheep Who do you think would win if you had to bet a buck on a monkey or sheep to win in a fight? If you thought a monkey versus snake battle was hard to predict, a battle with a sheep would be even more challenging. Sheep are generally quite curious animals, but they also don't like confrontation that much. Unless they're rams, they would rather back away from trouble so that they can graze in a field in peace. So when sheep just mind their own business on a plot of land or accosted by a troop of monkeys, they probably just hoped the monkeys would leave them alone. Some of the sheep were genuinely curious about what the monkeys were doing, but the rest just kept grazing as if the monkeys weren't there at all. Eventually, the monkeys and sheep seemed to just coexist, with neither worrying about the other being there. The monkeys decided to hang out and watch the sheep climb some trees and see what trouble they could get into. And it really wasn't as explosive as you think it might be. It just seems like these two animals are happy to get along and share their space. Number 13. Dog versus Monkey Pit bulls can sometimes have a bit of a reputation as being vicious dogs that aren't to be trusted and always show aggression. 
This public stigma probably stems from them originally being bred for dog fighting and bull baiting. However, like most dogs, if you raise them right, they can be well-rounded family pets. As you can see from their interactions with monkeys, they aren't always the vicious killers they're sometimes made out to be. In one scenario, a white and tan pit bull type dog is sharing an area with a troop of troublesome primates that look like they're up to no good. The dog starts by lying down, but a monkey is soon chased along a high fence by the dog, who seems a bit unsure what it's supposed to do with the monkey if it were to catch it. In another situation, with a black and white pit pit bull type dog wearing a jacket, a monkey slips through the fence into the dog's yard where it's tied up with food, water, and a toy. The dog playfully barks and wags its tail, looking like it wants to play with the monkey. The monkey clearly thinks better of entering into the dog's yard, and the dog goes back to chewing its toy while keeping a lookout for any other monkeys that might decide to visit. Number 12. Gibbon vs. Cat Gibbons are the cutest little primates that live in dense forests of southern Asia. They spend much of their lives swinging from tree to tree and have oversized arms that are much longer than their bodies to help them do this properly. They are incredibly social animals, but are also quite territorial and will defend their boundaries. There's also no denying how cute they are, with fur colorations ranging from light and dark brown to black and white. This gibbon seems to be reasonably well adjusted to living around humans and may even be a pet owned by someone. It's seen in what looks like a restaurant-type environment in Asia and has a seemingly love-hate relationship with a cat that's just trying to get some much-needed rest on a cushion at the dining table. But the gibbon just wants to play. It swings itself from the table to the bench seat and tries to engage the cat in play. It eventually resorts to jumping on the cat. When the cat fights back, it's in a playful way while also telling the gibbon that it's had enough. Eventually, though, the cat has to leave, so the gibbon will need to find something or someone else to harass. Number 11. Chimpanzee vs. Baboon It's not very often you see two primates involved in a bit of a disagreement, but one between a chimpanzee and baboon was actually caught on video. A baby chimp, clearly curious about baboons, decided to annoy one to see what would happen. Its mother wasn't the protective type, so just let it do whatever it wanted until finally scaring off the baboon by throwing a rock. You might think that's the end of the altercation between the two groups, but it's not. One of the baboons returns and aims her frustration at a young mother chimp. It looks like a fierce battle will ensue, but the chimp manages to scare off the baboon and head back to her troop with her baby. They're pretty evenly matched in any fights they do have, though. Chimps can use their arms to punch, while baboons use their arms in a kind of kicking fashion. Baboons are also very much ground dwellers since they don't have gripping tails, but they can climb trees to sleep, eat, and stay out of trouble. In contrast, chimps, which are the largest monkeys in the world, sleep in trees and spend equal amounts of time in the trees and on the ground. Number 10. Cow vs. Monkeys Cows are sacred in India, which means they're generally quite well looked after and are usually pretty bonded to humans. Most cows think nothing of approaching humans and other animals. When a family was walking along a country road, they came across a cow tied up at the roadside having free rein to graze along the sides of the road. A family of monkeys followed them, and the cow must have been quite curious about what they were and what they were doing there. So the cow basically invited one of the monkeys for a fight. It tried to get quite close to the monkey, but its rope stopped it. The monkeys obviously knew how far to stand back to stay safe. That didn't stop the cow from trying, though. It pushed the limits of the rope to headbutt the monkeys, but it still didn't have any luck. In the meantime, the monkeys are just trying to get snacks from the woman's hand. The cow was offered some, but it seemed way too interested in the monkeys. Eventually, it wandered off, probably realizing that it wasn't going to have any luck engaging the monkeys. Number 9. Baboon Attacks Baby Gazelle Baboons are often portrayed in storybooks as being wise, wily animals, not dangerous ones. But like all animals, they've gotta eat. And in this situation, they've chosen a gazelle and her lamb as their targets. When Nilus Wolmerans was on a tour with others near the Musiara Marsh in Kenya, they heard the screams of overexcited baboons. Not wanting to miss out on the action, they followed the barking and screaming until they found what all the racket was about. What they discovered was absolutely insane. 
two male baboons, one of which was using some impressive martial arts style moves that would impress even Jackie Chan, or taunting and chasing a gazelle and her very young baby. It was actually quite obvious what the baboons were trying to do, separate the baby from her mother so they could take her lamb as a snack. Unfortunately, nature can be cruel, and that's actually what ended up playing out. The gazelle was able to wound one of the baboons, but while this happened, the other baboon was able to get the baby. Usually, baboons go after a young antelope when they are still suckling because they like the milky contents of their stomachs. Number 8. Monkey Steals Banana From Orangutan's Mouth Monkeys have gotten quite clever with their slow integration into our urban environments. They can easily steal from humans, and there are generally no serious repercussions for their actions. That might be why a monkey tried its luck with an orangutan. It probably thought that stealing from them was just going to be the same as stealing from a human. It was terribly, terribly mistaken. The large orangutan is sitting around minding its own business chewing on a piece of banana. The monkey spots the banana in its mouth and attempts to take it. It might have thought it had made a calculated risk, but the orangutan was quick to react. It quickly swallowed the banana and pushed the monkey onto the ground, making it scream. It won't be in a hurry to do that again, that's for sure. Orangutans are great apes that can weigh up to 200 pounds. They have long arms, short legs, and spend most of their time in trees. Even though they're critically endangered because of human activities, that doesn't mean that they can't hold their own against other animals in the wild. Monkeys are just one of the very many animals that quickly learn not to mess with orangutans. Number 7. Baby Monkey vs. Rooster most roosters you come across will be aggressive to a degree. Their job is to protect their women, and that's normally why you won't see more than one rooster in a flock if the owner doesn't want to have constant fights on their hands. So when you see a monkey try to go up against a rooster, you know it's probably not going to end well for the monkey. As soon as it tries to annoy the rooster, it gets an immediate beatdown. It's starting to learn that it can't mess with the rooster and starts drinking its milk from a bottle. But the rooster isn't finished. It wants this pesky monkey gone and won't leave it alone until it goes and harasses someone else. And that's what the monkey does. It sees a mother dog feeding her puppies, waits until they've finished, and engages the puppies in play. Being puppies, they are more than happy to oblige until the puppies actually manage to wear the monkey out. They try barking at the monkey to get it to play some more, but it looks like it's ready for a nap. Number 6. Monkey vs. Duck You might wonder why a duck would be considered the wrong opponent to mess with, but you're about to learn why. This young monkey wearing clothing, which means it's likely a pet, kidnaps a duckling from a mother duck who has quite a few other ducklings. She's probably not able to save the lone duckling if it puts the majority at risk, so the monkey's pretty much left to its own devices with the one duckling. To be honest, the monkey's probably just quite curious about the duckling, but it doesn't seem all that comfortable, especially when the monkey presses it into the dirt. But as it's a young, defenseless duck, it's not long until its human owner comes to the rescue. The monkey has messed with the wrong opponent because it's a defenseless animal that most people would want to try and save. That monkey doesn't stand a chance. The owner comes in, sees the duck is not happy and calls the monkey to her. The monkey climbs into her arms while the owner tries to take the duck from the monkey's grasp. Finally, the duckling gets free and goes off to find its family, but the monkey isn't all that happy about it. Number 5. Monkey Fights Goat Monkeys and goats have a love-hate relationship, but let's be honest, goats have a love-hate relationship with most animals and humans. In one situation, a pretty big billy goat gets in a quite the serious encounter with a monkey. It, of course, has the upper hand because of those two massive horns, and it's also on a taller rock, which gives it a big height advantage. Eventually, after a few goes at trying to establish dominance, the monkey realizes it won't win and backs off. In another potential fight situation, three goats are in a possibly serious situation with a monkey. But it's quite obvious that the monkey is outnumbered, even if it is large and about the same size as the goats. One runs off, probably thinking it can't be bothered dealing with the situation, while the remaining two are left to see what they can muster up in a fight. One of the goats ends up in the monkey's grasp before eventually freeing itself by charging at the monkey when it least expects it. Number 4. Fowl vs. Monkeys you might think that fowl, such as ducks, geese, and swans, are much weaker than monkeys, but you might be wrong. 
Geese and swans have mean tempers, and ducks will definitely put up a good fight if they have to. There have been many moments caught on camera showing altercations involving geese, swans, and monkeys, and they go about as well as you might expect. The geese have babies with them, and they'll try to protect their young at all costs. Even though one monkey is curious about the geese, it clearly thinks better at trying to play with them or engage them in any way. The geese move away, and all is well. You can't really say the same about interactions with swans, though. When they see monkeys getting too close to them, they'll kick up quite a fuss to make them leave them alone. One monkey seems happy enough to have just secured a few feathers to chew on. Number 3. Geese versus Baboon Geese are aggressive. When they think you're getting too close to their eggs, or you're a possible threat to their goslings, especially Ryan, he's their favorite, they will do what they have to do to defend them. And that can mean launching a very brutal attack. One baboon learned it's probably not wise to go after geese, their babies, or their eggs when mom and dad are home. This baboon may have been desperate for food when it wandered down to a watering hole within the Kruger National Park to try its luck. Baboons are naturally cunning and intelligent, but it definitely misjudged this situation. Almost immediately, two geese launched an attack on the baboon, who was attempting to take their eggs. It did manage to get one of the eggs and sat near the nest to eat it, but with huge numbers of geese nearby, it's unlikely that the baboon will be able to leave the area completely unscathed. Baboons eat almost anything, from small mammals and birds to lizards and eggs. This means that pretty much no animal smaller than the baboon, except maybe snakes, is safe from an encounter. Fortunately, there are plenty of animals like geese that can hold their own. Number 2. Otter vs. Baboon Otters may look cute and cuddly, but they are carnivores that know how to savagely kill a creature for food if they have to. And sometimes it's not even for food, it's for revenge. Sea otters in a zoo were fed up. They had been constantly harassed by monkeys that kept stopping by their water hole to drag them out of the water and probably try to attack and kill them. As monkeys are of a similar size, it's not immediately clear who would win in such a battle. But you could probably guess when you've got a land mammal by the water and a strong semi-aquatic one in the water, it's not gonna always end well for the land mammal. On their own, otters aren't likely to be capable of winning against a monkey. That's a different situation entirely. After constant harassment over the course of a day, a group of otters managed to get the ultimate revenge. They all crowded together in the water, grabbed a hold of a monkey, and dragged it under the water to drown it. Meanwhile, other monkeys watching couldn't do anything because they didn't want to end up in the water as otter prey, too. Number 1. Gelada vs. Gelada Sometimes you don't have to be up against another species to know you've messed with the wrong opponent. It can be the same species, but from a different society. Gelada monkeys live in the mountain meadows of Ethiopia in multi-level communities. There's usually a family with one or a few males and between two and ten females and their offspring. These family units combine into bands that travel during the day. It's not uncommon to see groups of up to 1,200, which are among the largest primate groups. But like most animal groups, there's always a dominant male leader. They lead the entire group, and there are also hierarchies within each family unit of females. You might think that the same male gelata is in the leadership position for its whole life, but that is not the case. Often, a younger rival will come in from a bachelor group and fight with the leader male to take over his place. These fights can be pretty noisy and vicious, and it's any leader's worst nightmare to see a group of strong, eligible bachelors coming over a hill to claim his new family. So quite often, these leaders enter into a fight not realizing that they're much weaker and older than their opponents. You would think that by now, monkeys would have worked out who they can and can't win against in a fight, but I guess they aren't always going to know who's stronger or smarter than them. Alright, real talk, who do you think would win in a fight, a monkey or you? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!